<clears throat> um, good evening, everyone. This is the September 26, 2018 meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. This meeting is being recorded this evening and will be available for viewing at the town website, which is urbanguide.com. Before I begin tonight's meeting, I am required to ask if anyone in the audience is making a recording of this meeting. There being no indication that that is the case. The first item on tonight's agenda is 7 o'clock public hearing. Uh, Scribner Development LLC, a notice of intent the construction for construction to replace an existing failed septic system at 411 Leicester Street. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Come on up. <clears throat> so we had an opportunity to go to the uh, the property. Okay. And. Um, um, which is, it's, it's right near Chapinbrook. Um, and I think one question that we had is, um, is the location of the septic system in relation to the brook? And I think uh, among, among those of us that went out there, the question was, could the uh, septic system be placed closer to Lester Street and farther away from Chapin? No. Why not? Because there's a well across the street that we're like 51 feet away from. Okay. And the state is 50 feet is the minimum. I mean, 100 is really the minimum, but since it's repair, they allow you to go 50. Mm -hmm. And we're at like, you can see the, you can see the, uh, this is the, here's the brook here. Right. Um, the well is right here. And this is the 50 foot radius of the well. Okay. And this is the, this is the 50 foot radius to our well. Thank you. So I mean, we're really like we're literally the furthest point away from the from the river. And how far? What's the closest uh, that the system comes to the, the brook? Is it 28 feet? 28 feet is to the um, the flagged wetland. The brook uh -huh. is probably another five or so feet in. But yeah, that's the edge of the BBW outside the uh, the river. I mean, it you know it, it is in a lawn area already. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's wooded that would take it down any trees. Right. What's, so, and what's there now? Are you basically replacing an existing septic system there? Um, the septic is somewhere in the vicinity. Um, they might clip part of it. I don't know if it's... You don't know where it is? Well, it's in the vicinity. We did hit, like, some, some stone areas where we did test beds. Uh -huh. But, I mean, we didn't, like, you know, rip out the whole system or really search for the limits. What about putting in a tight tank? I don't believe DEP would allow it because you can fit a system there. That's usually a last resort. They don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and we pretty much are pushed into the only spot that's <laughs> the system would fit with the wells. Any questions from the board? You know, it's building a wall, right? Is it building that up? No, it's not a wall. wall. It's just it's oh, a, we yeah. tightened up the slope with a one-to-one -one slope just oh, to okay. keep the grading further away from the river. Okay. Um, and it's riprap. It's like crushed stone. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely aging into that water. I'm sorry. What? Definitely leaching into that water. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, we have a poly barrier as well yeah. on the down slope side, and I mean it shouldn't it shouldn't break out. If it's breaking out, then it's in failure again. So. <laughs> well, I think that's what we're concerned about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... So, um, it's been failing, right, throughout the years. It's, it's in failure now. Right. But it's, there's no one there now. Right. Uh, what, there, right? Do you, what are the plans for the house? Is the uh, current owner going to take that house down and build a new structure? I don't believe he's taking it down, though. No. I think he's just going to rehab what's there. Okay. I'm not positive on that, though. I don't right. And how many bedrooms is that? Do you know? Uh, three. Three? Three bedrooms. Okay. You know, um, I mean, we. This is not intended as a criticism of your work, but um, I think it's uh, it's a sensitive area. Um, I'm almost inclined to have this reviewed by someone. Can we? Yeah, I, 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 yeah. You know, maybe submit it to so Graves or someone um, to uh, to just review the plan and just. We're just looking for assurance that there's not going to be an issue with this failing five, ten years down the um, down the line. Because that is, um, it's, the habitat there is beautiful. It's an active um, um, system there, and uh, I think we all just have concerns about 
uh, about the siting of the septic system. I'm also, uh, um, I think, concerned about, um, do you, you don't know the size of the system that's there now, is that correct? Typically we don't never really know what's there. Right, but, the but obviously systems. once construction is started, then you're going to dig into it. Right. Um, but that happens quite a bit too. I mean, it's, I get yeah. that. I do. I mean, I, I don't know that there's no alternatives to this. I don't know that there's any way around it. I mean, I think it's... Uh -huh. Well, of course, the problem is that if there was uh, a sewer line on Lester Street, there wouldn't be an issue. Well, right, but there's no sewer line. There's no sewer line, I get that. And I mean, if the system fails in 10 years, it's going to have to be replaced again. It's not... Uh -huh. But, you know, it was my understanding that, um, and this is strictly hearsay from uh, the yeah. neighbor across the street, um, my, my understanding was that there was a system sited there, um, and I don't know when it was. A what? There was a what? I'm sorry? There was a what? A system sited there? No, a septic system sited there. And I don't know if it was not built properly. Uh, I guess I don't understand why the, the system that's there currently failed. And of course, because you haven't dug into it, you don't know either. I mean, it's an old house. He's always right. failed. I don't know. No, he said it was failed. It's, it's, it was only there for like five or six years. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah, so I, I and again, um, the house looks like it hasn't lived in the five years. I don't know. Well, well, there were some issues there, certainly. Yeah. And I, yeah. you know, um, I don't recall. Uh, there ever being a filing uh, with the commission for, if they did replace the system, say, let's say 10 years ago, I don't recall that there was ever a filing at that time with us, you know. So that that's just my concern. I think, it, like you said, it's so tight, and you are so constrained by the by the site that, if, if I hear you correctly, you're telling us this is the only place that you can put that, that system. And I think what I'd, I'd like to do just for, uh, um, and actually, I don't think it, it, it will harm, it will cause any harm if someone basically just double checks this and verifies that, that, that in fact this is the only place it can go and that what you're proposing is feasible for the site and will, you know, suitably uh, and adequately protect Chapenburg and the wetland area. So again, I'm only speaking for myself, okay? Uh, the board can, can, and that's why I invite comments from uh, the other commissioners on this. I'd like to say also, I mean, I guess technically the system could slide to the east. Mm -hmm. That would maybe give you another 10 feet from the brook, but then you're going to be taking down a whole bunch of trees. So I don't know that that's a better alternative or not. I mean, I don't think it is. Because uh -huh. like, like I said, right now we're in a flat area that's currently lawn. So if we go down the slope, we're going to be, you know, maybe another 10, 15 feet from the brook, but you're going to be taking down, you know, 10,000 square feet of trees. Well, I, I get that too. <laughs> so, I guess there is an alternative, but I don't know that it's any better. We have to come up with the least um, a harmful uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> scenario here. Right. Right. So, that thing has been so polluted at this point. So does anyone um, care to chime in? I don't know how to word it. Well, what are you thinking? Before you make a motion, I'm, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that it's really close. And like looking at it, walking down into the woods. Did you walk down into yeah. the woods down there? I mean, it's it's finally clean. Like, and I've lived there forever. You know what I mean? Like, I know from what the neighbors saying, the septic tanks that have gone there failed repeatedly. And he's thinking mm -hmm. that it's because it's so close to that waterway. Now, if you're saying again that again. Seeing it fail because it's close to the river. I don't think that's the reason. Not the reason, but um, maybe it was just. Do you know how old the well is? It's a drilled well. I mean, it's right. not. It's not an artesian. Uh, so we don't know when a deep hole test was done, right? No. Uh, the, no. The, the water test? No. Okay. No, I, th I mean that may come up with water health anyway. The it's four inch PVC. How, I just wonder how high the water table is there. Actually, Why? Yeah. If the septic system is properly. Um, we had the water table about five feet. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And how deep is this your system? PVC. Um, well, the system's five feet. It's five feet above that. Okay. Because this, it's, this comes, this is like a, this is a gravelly area. Uh huh. So, right. you got to have a five foot offset to groundwater with the system. That's what we have. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, what does the board want to do? I, I think that <clears throat> what you suggest about having someone else check on it would be a good idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how would you retain a consultant? 
retain a consultant, I definitely think oh, that it should be done. Aversion control. I agree with you. Okay. How wide is that? It's a siltation fence with a nine inch wall. Uh, no, I'm, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The orange PVC. I don't think stuff. we can make a determination. Oh, awesome. I didn't even check. What about if they installed it and then had put some stipulation that they had to have it checked every Title five inspection every five years? Five years. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise, how would you even know if it was in failure unless somebody went out there and checked it? Well, that's true too. What I'm looking for that is an alternative. Yeah. I want to see if there is an alternative, and I, I, yeah. I don't. Hopefully. I'm not saying he's not offering us one, but no. <laughs> hasn't been offered on the plan. And I just think um, uh -huh. because it's a pretty sensitive area, mm -hmm. um, and I think for that reason, I think we should um, be belt suspenders on this. I really do. Did um, I, I do you get any of them the EP on this? I don't think we've got I checked. Yet, have we? I, I just did get two filings, but I didn't even have a chance to look at them because well, this one was like a month ago that they had it, so I don't know. Yeah, they really had it last time, and why I don't even mm. I don't remember. Let's see, I don't think I have it. I usually forward them to the commission when I get them, and I keep it. It, it very well could have come in now. Do you want me to just to run and look and see if that was the filing from DEP and see if they had any comments? Sure. All right, let me just go get that. It must have been real late. It was. I wasn't here. Yeah, because this was filed late. Yeah, yeah, four or five weeks ago. You know what? And this one, conversion technology. 3.30, she passed. I mean, in your journal notes, you indicate that it should be inspected and pumped every two years. Yeah, the tank should be well, pumped every two years. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it probably should be pumped so, uh, more often than not. Right. See if we've got any comments to DEC. No, I know they have been slow lately. Yes, 
That's right. If it shifts down anymore, it goes into those, it goes into those trees. Mm -hmm. So what is the pleasure of the board? If we write it out, uh, if we write it up, it has to be checked. I, I have to check, so check it. Check. Well, then is there a motion? I make a motion that we hire a consultant to check on the well situation at 411 Lepster Street. OK, is there a second? A second that. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed or vote? Okay. We'll get back to you on the same issue. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks. So this is continued, correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. J Jason? Sign a, yeah. sign a form for me, Jason. We're going to continue this to the next meeting, okay? okay? And we will be in touch with you before then. Uh, and that's 1010, right, Sheila? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Someone's going to have to make a motion to do that. Um, is there a motion? Oh, I, made a, I made a motion. To no, continue, continue the hearing? Continue. I'm sorry. That's right. I made a motion that we continue the hearing to 1010. Is there anything on 7? Um, I think I do. We'll make it 710. Perfect. 7 -10. Okay. Is there a, I'll second that. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Okay. Right. Thank right. you, Jay. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is the 710, uh, or was the 710 public hearing for Johnny Johnson, and it was for intent for um, the construction of a new home, single family home at 707 Oxford Street. It's my understanding the applicant has requested a continuance, is that yes. right? Till when? Um, Do you know? I don't is know. It just I, I just said I had to just run down here. I don't, here it is. I don't have that one. Here it is. Um, Completed the plan. Oh, okay. I'm looking to continue 707. Oh, that was from Jay. Jay was doing that one. He didn't say where he wanted to continue. So if I would just continue it. Shall we continue one hearing? To the next. Okay. Is there a motion? Say, make a motion and we continue the hearing for 707 Oxford Street South to 1010 at approximately. How about 720? I'm sorry, 720. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Is there a second? Second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Okay. Um, the next item on our agenda is 715 public hearing. Uh, Edmund and Damiak. Of course, for determination for the installation of an in ground pool at 11 South Park Street Court. He's not sitting tonight. Is there a motion? <laughs> is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? A second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm sorry. Good evening, sir. Hi. So we had the opportunity um, to go to your property. I know you were there. Oh, were you there? You left your footprints on the wetlands. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you knocked down some of the weeds, and I thought, was that the deer or those uh, guys? I don't think it was me. Okay. No. But it's anyway. Was it me? <laughs> we, uh, I got there late. We, we took a look, and it, it was clear from oh, yeah. observing the property that you have ample room to oh, put yeah. in an in-ground pool. Oh, it was me. That, um, <laughs> I'll, we'll blame you then. Um, <laughs> that uh, and w which would have no impact on the wetland. Yeah. Okay. Wetland. So, and we thank you for allowing us to um, to enter your property. If you were fond of the weeds that we stepped on, we apologize. I don't think you probably were. I'm no, sorry. I was here four years ago. I cleaned up the wetland. I'm okay. gonna, I remember I that. had hundreds and hundreds of bag of household I trash. I actually remember that. I do the people remember that were that. living there really? did not have trash yeah. pickups, so they just kept throwing it oh, down. Oh, I remember that. Uh, you brought field still beyond too. you? And, uh, field, what's that? Is there a field still beyond you? Mm, a baseball yeah. field further down? Yeah, further down. It's a okay. dead end street. Okay. Correct. Sir, yeah. now that you mentioned that, I, I remember the same I had to rent a dumpster to get rid of all the trash. How horrendous it was. And so you did a great job. Thanks. Thank you for that. So in any event, um, is there a motion to close? Make a motion to close the public hearing. Is there a second? Second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed the vote. Is there a motion? Regarding the motion that we issue a negative determination. Negative. Okay. Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. All right, you're okay. all set, sir. Great. Thank you. I'm just going to type up a little thing, and I'll be mailing it to you, and you can just keep it with your important papers. 
Exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. All righty. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it was a nice night. driveway, too. Yeah, nice driveway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> the next item on our agenda was a 715 public hearing for Massive Family LLC. Notice of intent for the construction of a parking lot with various items at 2428 and 35th Avenue. It is my understanding, uh, Ms. Conrad, that that has been continued. Is that right? That's correct. That's a continued. Till when? Uh, probably just till next month. I'm not. Ms. Kravatsky, can you shed, shed some light on this? Yes. The, the final questions by Graves Engineering to the engineer have been vetted, and he is ready to go in with that we talked today on his final plan to Graves and to the town. The next planning board meeting should be the close. And will that be on the 9th? I, I, he did not uh, give that to me, but you're on the 10th, and it is a date of what? Is it, no, the 10th. The planning board is the 10th? 10, oh, 10. the planning board is the 9th. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we so you want to get wrap it up on the 9th. We'll be here on the 10th with okay. the engineer to hopefully okay. conclude that part. So in that case, is there a motion to continue the public hearing to October 10th at 730? I make a motion that we continue the public hearing on the um, Notice of Intent for the Side Family, 2428 Faith Ave, until 10-10. I'll second that. At 7.30? 7.30. Okay. Is there Thank any discussion? You. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote? Okay. Moving right along. The next item on our agenda is a 7.15 public hearing. Marshall Provost of Notice of Intent for the construction of a single-family dwelling septic system well in roof runoff infiltration system uh, on property located at, is it Zero South Street? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there a motion open? There's actually no number to the South Street location. Uh, That's interesting. I make a motion that we're airing. Is, there, is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Mr. Skrabowski, good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the subject property has been in the provost family for, uh, and I don't have a period of time, 40, 50, 60, many, many years. It was a pasture land at one point. There was an access off of uh, the eastern side of South Street, which we have shown on here, this, this side. Uh, Presently, we have a 51-foot access. It was an old cot path crossing we have sh shown on the plan. I'm not sure if the commission had any time to look at this yet. We, we are in the rare species program. It's going to take 30 days for them to respond back. And so uh, possibly at your next meeting, we might have an answer. So we will be asking for a continuance after okay. discussions to give them time. And also, DP has not issued the filing yet. All right. Somewhat well, of a complicated project. I uh, did just get the filing. Excuse me? I did just get the filing. 416 and it just came today. Oh, and I didn't know they, I know I had Terry and I'm sorry, but I didn't know Provost came in also. Yes. Okay, yeah. I, I, that, my head already left the office, so they must have put yeah. it through at the it end of the day. Came, yeah, it, right. it was after two, I'm sure. Right. We'll review it. Okay, the Street. So, uh, here's the railroad tracks. There's a 34 foot frontage uh, job, job at engineering out of Sturbridge had uh, surveyed the property boundaries and along the property boundary we do have yellow pink ribbon excuse me from a couple of years ago they supplied the plan and the cat pile to existing grades out of Douglas uh, a surveying and engineering company that we've been working with recently uh, it's still on the USGS map it still calls a gravel pit when we get out to the center of it we'll still see that there's a gravel pit in the center the access to the pit is through this cot road that gains access to the uh, center of the pit. You might say that the house, the septic, and the well, and a majority of any lawn area is all outside the riverfront area. The riverfront area is flagged with mean annual high water flags, both coming from the eastern direction, southeastern direction, underneath the road. Here it is flagged here. It eventually comes down and travels towards uh, Auburn Sportsman Club. We delineated the wetland boundaries um, along with the mean annual high water. And we have those flags on the plan, obviously, and uh, we do have a wetland across the railroad tracks which drains underneath the culvert, railroad culvert, and combines in with the main flow going towards. Did, um, I mean, this is all maybe off topic a little bit, but did they need a variance to, to get approval? To yes, they're working, this is being worked with the 
through existing grades with the planning board for the variance of the 34 feet. Okay. We, we put together the plan to make an, an argument and probably that we would not look to close the hearing until all that process is concluded to ensure that there's no changes on the plan. Sure. Yeah. But for rare species wise and riverfront wise, riverfront and alteration of wetlands, if we attempted to use the 50 foot opening gaining access as a hammerhead lot in your town, we would have to cross through over 2,000 square feet of wetlands. We have to cross through the riverfront area. There would be three wetland crossings. We have a, this is the alternative. There was an alternative plan. This gives us an overall view of the property. Right. The alternative plan is third. So let me uh, just flip to the second plan we have here, if you would. Mr. Provost was still using this as a pit up to about three years ago when he sold off the company who was using looming on this property. Uh, most of the gravel has been depleted, but then he was still running his operation until recently he sold it and still holds the note. So that's when he uh, discontinued the major use of that pit. And yes, if we want to take a look, there is access. That I see on the plan it, sh it shows an access path. Direct. Right, directly after the railroad tracks is a gate here, and we would, uh, it's our pleasure to open the gate and you can actually drive in okay. to the pit. We would, uh, we would like to uh, accompany you if you choose. There's another stage for me. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> so, more plans. So, yes, we plan on staying. This is the proposed development plan, and I'll show you the alternative plan right after that if you choose. We would stay on the existing car road, gravel road here, driveway, and then we are directly outside the riverfront area at this point, if you're looking at your plan, mm -hmm. and going access to where the house and the septic and the majority of the lawn. We put a limit of work. The provosts are getting older. They don't need a lot of lawn. We want to be clear, just like we are in other towns, that we have a limit of work so that the contractor knows not to go beyond that, that water line along the soap fence line and in the back we would stake it out. Elba on this side is a railroad track. We're going to leave the majority of the pit open. It's a wood turtle habitat. Um, and because of that, uh, we would normally leave open gravel areas. That's where they nest. I just hatched out 18 on my property this year, 90 in all on my property. So I work with wood turtles since wow. the 80s. Uh, made radio transmitters and other things. <laughs> so uh, this is it's prime. Uh, I mean, it has almost all the attributes of a trout brook, but it, uh, there is a well system downgradient, and we're talking to Nish over at the Auburn Sportsman Club. He th does say, and I've seen it before, where no water comes out of this pool over here, although there's a fire pond for the town in there. So it does go below uh, drainage okay. elevation. Not this year. It's right after the Cedar, it's right after the Cedar Street extension, correct? Right after that? Yeah. Yes. Before that was Marshall's original home, but before that, did right they also the, have property? Right. There? In fact, this site plan shows the, the provosts were running their business over here. And they still right. own property right. over off of South Street, bordering the railroad tracks. Here we are coming over the, from Cedar and South, coming together. And just over the tracks, there's that entrance in. Oh, okay. I know. Okay, it's right there. It's, yeah. a, it's a paved apron. Mm -hmm. We do propose it as a slight amount of uh, riverfront fill right here because it, if you're coming out of the driveway or going into it, the driveway's tilted, it's steep on, well, going in, it's steep on the right-hand side and it's nearly level because the track is high and the road dips downward. So we are just raising this corner up enough so that when you come up to the road, you're level and not at a you know, more dangerous by being tilted up than at least for the last 20 feet being level. So there's a slight grade change there. The rest of the, of the riverfront area stays degraded as it has been. Did uh, you get any comments um, or had any communication with the, um, the province of Worcester Railroad? With who? The, the railroad. The I railroad. mean, you're, oh. uh, you're yeah. adjacent to the tracks. Yeah, they're no. right there. So you gave notice and... Well, we gave them notice. Yeah. Right, but they didn't respond. No. They're, um, the track line is out here. We're right. off their property. The, the provosts like to sound the train and they... I don't good. mind being next to it. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> they've they've lived on it right next to it for a number of years. Been there right. for a so when do you propose to continue the public hearing? Until the next meeting, we might have answers back and any questions that DEP has, we would be able to answer the questions by before okay. that time. Uh, just if you don't just to show you the alternative plan, if you don't mind just briefly, I know you have other things to do. Like the Terry, which is my next one. 
the, uh, the alternative plan shows the wetland crossings, the, we did stay to all the upland areas, cut in to stay on the upland, <coughs> went over the old cart road crossing location, it's stone walls on both sides and it was still rotted railroad ties there from years ago, years ago. Used to be cows, uh, cows. We, uh, we did pull the railroad ties out of the water over the pool we were flagging just to get that crystal uh -huh. out of it. And then we would cut cross country and then find gain access. So your plan, the notice of intent, describes the alteration of riverfront area, natural riverfront area, BBWs, sure. opposed to coming in on this car road and just getting in there. Plus it's a shorter road. Yeah. Well, it's shorter, but the, the rare species wouldn't go for it. Mm -hmm. And um, we, the Wildlife Protection Act wouldn't also, if, if we can get this variance, because it's a much greater alteration this way than coming in on an existing car road. Of course. It's already gravel, that's already the width that we need. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, okay. 1053 3 clause works for us on that. Yeah. Um, so, you would request then a continuance? I would request an extent of a continuance to your 1010 meeting. Okay. Is there a motion? Anyone? I move to continue the Marshall Provost to 1010 at 740. Okay. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Thank you for that time. It's 740. 740. 740. That's, I'm, I'm assuming. We'll I think the last that. one was at 730, right? Who we'll second that? Carolyn? Uh, Aye. Aye. Thank you on that okay. time. All right. And uh, before the next matter is, uh, is taken up for hearing, I have to advise um, everyone that um, Mr. Tarion is a client of mine. Um, oh. In my secret, it's not my secret identity, but in addition to doing this, I also, um, I'm an attorney, and uh, I've represented Mr. Terry for many years, so I have a, an obvious conflict, and so I'm going to turn this over to my able vice chairman, okay. Mr. Fallon. So, thank you very much. Get me back when you're done. Okay. Thank you again. <laughs> the next item on our agenda is um, William Terry. There was a attempt for construction of a single family dwelling grading on property located outside the buffer zone at 416 South Street. And I have a motion. Aye. I move. Happy to open. i second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's a vote. Hey. Thank you very much. Right. I'm not sure if you had a chance to look at this one either. That one here. I think I just we, uh, grab that. This right here? Yep. Yeah. Give that to him. That was a. Uh, Mr. Dubois. Okay. Uh -huh. Who just left? Did do the engineering on this? It was hired by Mr. Terry and, and I was called in separately. We have a single-family house outside. The, here's the setbacks along the, as they should be on the plan. And we set back off of a, off the setbacks. This is a lot. Single-family house with a garage, 30 by 40 garage. He has a business, there's a storage unit on the property presently. We augured, and I, this is one fault that I find with the surveyors in this case, I augured all through here, all along, and, and normally I have my surveyors put the uh, soil borings on, on the plan along with the matrix color in the B horizons to prove that I have hydric or non-hydric soil. So when we go there for a site inspection, you're gonna find augering all along this, because this is the beginning of the wetland, the corner mm -hmm. of the hydric soils. So we'll, we'll find all the hydric soils above. Are you okay for this one? Thank you. So we'll find all non hydric soils up here along this edge. It drops into this beginning of a wetland. It's a transition soils, upland transition, upland transition, then wetland transition. And it's a narrow corridor. The sky's wands over here, so it's a small, uh, Let's just say it's a wetland system that don't, might only be this wide going down along through here. Then it widens out as, as we get down to this lower point and eventually down to that, the uh, wetland system that drains towards, uh, towards Marshall Provost. It's intermittent, but that's down to the bottom of the valley. So we're at the top of the hill and um, we have respected the 25 foot. There's a tree line shown on the plan We've stayed out of the 25-foot zone, and um, we might be looking. There might be some questions when we get there about uh, it is open at this point. And so, if there's any questions about it being open, we're uh, ready to answer those questions at any site inspection. I haven't been able to go there. 
The well is right here, and there's the well radius, so 100 feet, and the separate's oh, okay. outside of it. Okay. Uh, DP didn't have any comments on it. No. Oh, okay. I was getting mixed up with the numbers. Okay. The mixed up the numbers. over here. Yeah, the zero had the NEPA. Where is it in relation to Provost? Where is it in relation to Provost, did you say? Provost oh, property? Uh, Oh, well, let's, yeah, easily. Here, right. here we go, right here. So, okay, this, yeah. um, Old Milbury oh, and so the state bonds. Subject federal. Okay, so here, Provost would be, hmm, <laughs> this is the top of the hill. This is before Oxford would be over here. Here's Old Milbury coming in. Here's okay. federal. It's just before you would get to that three way intersection going back and towards Milbury. Okay. This this would be, in fact, this right here would be the rest of South Street. So what they don't show, yeah. I believe, yeah. is Cedar coming in. Mm. It should be coming in something right. like that. Uh -huh. So Provost would be, one axis would be over here, that 50 foot. Yeah. And if the railroad tracks were, or other tracks, the tracks I think go something like this because they're on that, that south. Next time we'll have okay. Jake make okay. sure that's, yeah. so our entrance is over here. So right in here is where Provost would be. Oh, okay. 150 foot and then that 34 entrance in the tracks. Definitely that's the curve in the road at South Street. You might yeah. see it. It could be a little bit more detailed. Yeah, right in the notice of intent, I can pull it out. I have uh, the assessor's map in, the USGS map in it to, uh, for a relationship. I'm not going to be here for any of you guys are going to have a really bad day that I'm day. Down, so I'm uh, not going to be here either. You're not going to be here on the 10th either? Oh, you guys are going to have a really bad really day. Really bad. Yeah, no. no, he knew that. I told, him, I told you guys last week, and then I said, you two. And then you said to me, how did I know? Because you had said right. you weren't going to be able to be here sometime in September. And then you said, and also 10-10 didn't look good. I go, uh-oh. So I go to the beach. Okay. There's the tracks. Mm -hmm. Wait, and just for a second. Oh, sure, yeah, sure. So the uh, we're up at the top here, and the provost would be in the tracks. This is this is yeah, the pond, right? right. Yep. That's the pond at the road. Code Provost okay. is right in here, and um, yeah, that's how it works. Well, and actually, there's a, a man-made pond here, and that's a man-made pond, and mm -hmm. the other access for Provost would be coming over oh, like yes. this and like that. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be a busy one, Michelle. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, again. yeah I, think, I think they really need to go look at this. If she's if she's uh, clear on that. We did a uh, scan and email to you. The certificate of mailing, we do have both of them. Oh, okay. If there's any question, here's the originals, but um, no, I would, my office is directed to scan and send those so that we don't have a question when coming in. So, Glenn, but if there's any question, we will, uh, I don't believe there is, but if we'll scan and send them both to you t again tomorrow, mm -hmm. Provost and Korea. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Um, yeah. When is this your copy here? Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you. But then you're going to text. Yeah. 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 I'll make sure those are both sent again, if they're not, so tomorrow morning. Okay. okay. Just yeah, in, in case you didn't just pull them out. The yes. Get better glasses, is what has to happen. Oh, <laughs> I just. It's my vanity kicking. She's got my new one. Yeah. Because I needed to, but because the other ones were lost for like five days. Here's. Oh. Well, it might help a little bit. Huh? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it does. So interestingly, I think for me on this one site, because we normally don't see high perk rates, this was a 45 minute perk rate. And when the town of Auburn, which is in a conflict because I went through this ethics commission uh, two years ago, looked on South Street, we actually had uh, all the lots uh, at the corner of Old Milbury and South. There was a couple of town had there and they had it for land taking, uh, nobody paying taxes. We were over 60 minutes on those, and wow. they, they weren't sold. So I, I believe they were offered back to the neighbors. But this was a 45-minute. So that's why the system's the size it is. It's a very tight.
tight soil on top of that hill. Mm -hmm. Supply the BBW data forms. I think it's again uh, during the site inspection. We can go over anything you want to see. This is near the Nolesky farm up there because you know the, the Nolesky farm, yes. Brosnan, I think, was up yes. there. Yeah. Yeah. Friends of the family. It's been there a long time. Been a long time. Right. Look at this one. We all know. Can you guys, can, can oh, you guys see? So will we, uh, will you, if I call you tomorrow, you might have a date for a site inspection for the two, maybe? I think so. Yeah, it's usually on a Saturday. I sure. Saturday. I'm working for CORE this Saturday and CORE again, or net, uh, the Heritage CORE and the other the Saturday after that, but we'll see what you say at the time. I just want to put that out there. Okay. Doing some October thing. Next Saturday, and this Saturday, it's Public Lands Appreciation Day for CORE, for U.S. properties, and we'll park and dance, so we'll some stuff with the National Honor Society. Yeah, nice. Oh, so, either one wouldn't work. Yeah, okay. okay. Unless it was in the afternoon. Yeah. And that doesn't work for you guys. Maybe yeah. during the week after. after Probably not. This Any week other questions from the board? Uh, Can no, we have a motion? A motion that uh, we push this to 1010 at 7.50 p.m.? Thank you. Yeah. Good. Okay. second? Yeah. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you again, and we'll look forward to the second question. We second that. I did. Okay. I'll probably have the clients here the next time. I, I figured they were both going to be continuances because it was the end of the day that I received yeah. Terry in and then oh Provost. I didn't even know it came in. Thank you again. Okay. So we're not going to have a quorum for that one, then? No, absolutely not. So we're not going to have a quorum for that one on the 10-10. He can't vote. He can't vote. And her and I are going to be here. Allison and he will be on Well, let Terry know when we'll ask for, um, well, if we still yeah. have a site inspection before time, we any other issues that are left, I'll send them over if there are any. Okay. We'll send them to Sheila and we'll ask for a, a continuance at that time. I think. Okay. Okay. 26. Sure. Okay. Which is just a matter of us sending something and asking for the continuance. If that doesn't work, unless you want me to automatically we get somebody to, to join the board. I, I'm in two other towns that are they're looking for people to join. Yeah. The board. I, I, I actually talked to somebody this week. We'll nice. tell, tell that person to get in here. Yeah. I'll work on it. I'll work a little harder. How about that? volunteering is okay. uh, really rapidly. It's a yeah. tough one. Try. It's a tough one. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Paquin has been waiting very patiently. So, why don't you come on up? Thank you. Good night, Glenn. Good night. Good night now. Thanks a lot. Hello, Joanna. Have a seat. Thank you. Hi. And this is on, uh, you seek to uh, obtain an extension on an order of conditions, is that correct? Correct. Okay, can you just tell us what you're looking for? So, um, the, the order of conditions, I think, was um, originally issued in 2008, and because of the Permanent Extension Act, and um, because of another extension, um, it's due for, uh, it's, it's, it's expiring um, November. November 18. Okay. Um, so it basically allows the DPW to maintain the roads, the uh, drainage infrastructure, and the, and the ditches in town. Okay. And you're looking for another three years? Correct. Okay. Is there uh, any discussion? No. Well, our panelist is not. All right. In that case, um, is, there, uh, is there a motion? I mean, Go ahead. I make a motion that we issue to the town of Auburn the extension on uh, number 098-0636, Board of Conditions for three more years. Okay, is there a second? I'll second that. Yeah. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote? Thank All you. right, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'll get this signed and get it to you. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Okay. Oops, sign All right. <clears throat> Uh, the next item on our agenda is um, 
498 Rochdale Street. Um, is there a motion to open? Make a motion we open the hearing. Okay, is there a second? Second. All in, all in. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Okay. Can you just identify yourself for the record? Yes, just for the record, Scott Morrison from Equitech. Here with me is the property owner, Joe Goodman. Okay, so you had an opportunity to review um, the report that was prepared by uh, Margaret Washburn, is that correct? Yes. Okay. And I'm curious to hear what you um, had to do about it. Um, you know, essentially there's, you know, kind of going back to the beginning of the project, um, the existing house was, was torn down prior to Mr. Goodman um, acquiring the property. He received, obtained permits to reconstruct the single family house septic system, that area. The area down below um, was disturbed when I was involved right. prior to my delineation, you know, delineation work. Mm -hmm. Um, it's kind of that process. We were requested to um, recreate kind of a channel flowing through the, the lower portion. Correct. Um, there was no bordering vegetative wetland in through there. Um, we had no idea what it looked like before, and we kind of just assumed that there was some type of connection between the top and the bottom. So um, during that process, we simply, you know, try and address the issue we proposed. Um, constructing a channel through there. That channel was constructed. Um, essentially, it discharges in, um, through that area. It, it discharges to a slightly different location, but to the same down gradient well. Uh, respectfully, 65 feet is more than slightly. The, uh, well, the problem as I see it, um, uh, Mr. Morrison, is that you had prepared a plan and which and we acted on it, and I think we approved it. And the problem is that the channel that was constructed doesn't look anything like the plan that you provided to us. And it's as a result, it's uh, it's caused some problems. It's caused additional flooding. Um, you know, we've been out there several times, and uh, there are trees that are dying in that area. That um, so, I think the I think the intention um, to comply with our enforcement order was there, but the execution uh, was certainly lacking. And um, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, I mean, I think Ms. Washburn is, is pretty clear in what she suggests or recommends for a restoration of, um, of, the, of the channel. And I, I guess what I'm trying to find out is whether you intend to comply with that or if you have an alternative to that. Again, kind of going back, I discussed it with Joe, I guess there's there's two options. Mm -hmm. One to redirect that the lower section of the channel to right. discharge at the same location. Keep in mind that that lower wetland is all one kind of wetland system. So the water's we're not taking the water and, and putting it in, you know, a, a wetland across the street. It's going to the same wetland. Right. And I think even Margaret Washburn agrees that the, the property owner, if you're looking at Joe's from the street I think mm -hmm. that's what 480 they've got some they've had some flooding issues in the past they've even presented photos of that so they're claiming that there's additional additional flooding issues because you're discharging to the same wetland system right I don't necessarily think that by redirecting the channel it's a cure-all well by any, again, by any means. the problem is that what was um, I don't know if we required an asphalt plan or not, Sheila, but uh, what was constructed there did not comply with your plan. And I thought we made it very clear, Mr. Goodman, that, um, and, you know, uh, I don't want to rehash the, the site, but you had gone in there, you would clear the property without getting a permit from us. I know your intention originally, I think, sir, was to build your house there. It couldn't be built there. Uh, I think you, you did your best to remediate it. And then the problem is that when the, when the channel was reconstructed, Instead of making it sort of a meandering channel, or as, as Ms. Washburn says in the report, make it more historic the way 
where she believes it was originally um, um, uh, flowing through that property or situated on that property and made into a straight channel. As a result, there's additional turbidity, there's flooding that actually is more adjacent to the broker's property than it was before. And so, and, and, and Mr. Morrison, I'm mindful of what you're saying that it's the same wetland system, um, but I, I do believe that putting the channel and diverting it 65 feet, and I don't know what direction it is, to the right, if you're standing at his house and looking down, I think it will have, you know, result in less impact um, on the in that area closest to the broker's property. So, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for uh, a commitment that that's going to be done. And, and and again, why I'm here is because if you think there's an alternative um, to what Ms. Washburn has proposed, then I am again speaking for myself. I am all ears, and I'm happy to to consider it. I mean, the other thing, too, is, and again, um, and I, I don't want to sound um, harsh here, but, um, you know, when, when we issue order of con orders of condition, we expect there's going to be compliance. And so if there's a plan that's been provided to us, we expect that the work that's going to be done is going to comply more or less with what has been proposed. That didn't happen in this particular case. We, um, we have, this board has the power to find, which I would prefer not to have to work I, I can't, again, I can't speak for the rest of the members of the board, but we're not trying to punish you, sir, but we're just looking for compliance. I mean, you know, we have a role to play. Um, th there's, been an, there's been an adverse impact or a, a perceived adverse impact, and so we're looking for a solution to resolve the issue. And um, the other thing is that, and uh, it, uh, since I've been chairman, I don't think we've had to do it, but we have the, um, the option of submitting this DEP for enforcement, and um, you don't want DEP to, to get involved in this. You really don't, because they will find you, and they will have no qualms about doing it. So, I'm not. We don't expect you to have a solution this evening, <clears throat> but I want you to understand that we take this seriously. We want the situation resolved, and um, if you if you need some time to come up with a plan or to, in fact, if you want to. And I, that's what I'm looking for, really, is a res restoration plan. Um, then we'll give you as much time as you need. Okay. Okay. Um, I know Mrs. Brokus is in the audience. Would you like to chime in? I just would <clears throat> want to confirm with you that the department, um, that the highway department came, and there was no blockage that's at, what, at that site. That's what Mr. Coyle has, has told okay, us. That's so correct. That is off the table. I would like gentlemen here no just one time um, that there has always been an issue I'm not lying with terrible rain whatever like we just had mm -hmm. in the past the ice storm that we had the flooding that happens it happens and it's gone this is not going this is staying and now today if you go by my house you basically have a, uh, a pond because mm -hmm. with all the rain that just happened again on top of the water that's been sitting there. The, oh, it's the pond where? In front of my house. You, in front of my, in, on, on my property is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Because I was just, I stopped by your house before I came here just to see because I, there, there is. Up my driveway? I, I didn't go all the way up your driveway. You I was right at the, I was right at the edge. You yeah, know, and come it was. Come on up and come up to the driveway where the other driveway goes to the, to the right. No. Stop right there and look in and you'll see, I could put fish in there. I'm sorry to the, this is causing this issue, but we gotta get it fixed. We were inundated with mosquitoes. I'm sure you were too. Yeah. So what's your pleasure? I guess if you can get also I think, Please, go ahead. Didn't we, I think that we went there really did too and talked to you about the chickens being yes. right on the brook there. The chicken coop has to be moved. Coop? Yeah. I mean, there's no chickens in the chicken coop, so it's but just it's a the, the coop still has to be moved. It still has to be moved, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, all right. Well, I'm sorry, Ms. Morrison, what were you going to say? Um, well, just one thing, you were talking about DPW and the, the, the pipe that was cleared. There are actually, behind that pipe, it, within the stream channel, is a series of like debris dams. Uh -huh. So that's one thing that could also be contributing to the fact that you don't have water free-flowing to that 
that drain. So that could also potentially be holding back water. Okay. I noted that when I guess when I went back out there after Margaret Washburn's first site visit. Okay. So I think it's I'm not saying that anybody's wrong here. I'm just saying that it's it's complex. Water kind of sheds in two different directions. Um, but I think it's it, you know that one of those drains needs to stay clear. I think it's you know it's only this this wide open and can get easily get clogged. Can I can I ask you a question? You may. Okay. So my opinion is uh, there was no channel whatsoever from the front to the back, and that water was pooling in the back, and then overflowing into the front. So there was less water in the front because there was more water in the back. Did it used to pool? more towards the back? Do you, back you, what? Did like so you, you know the, the lower part that where where the Yeah, the lower part where they made me put this little the ditch from, you know, kinda like in between your pool and me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Did water used to pool there okay. and then kinda okay, because yeah, I I mean I don't. There isn't, as far as I know, and I don't know. I have walked yeah, over there. There's no water there now, is there? No, because the ditch just runs it right through. But I don't think there was never. I didn't fill in any channel. There was never a channel. They asked me to cut in a channel, and so now water just directly goes down into the front, and so and it doesn't hold it back further back, which is what I believe the problem is. Right, you know. So potentially, we were discussing this earlier that potentially, if you got rid of the channel and let the water kind of sheet flow across that area. I'm wondering if that wouldn't that might be. mitigate and kind of mimic what was there before, before that channel was cut through. Okay. It's tough to know for sure because I hadn't seen it before, uh -huh. but that's one that possibility. Too. That's the first time we saw it in yeah. an argument yeah. 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 So, um, so if it wasn't there before, if it was a sheet, that probably could be. So why don't we do this? Um, I mean, we'll, we'll continue with this to the next meeting, give you time to put together your thoughts on a solution. Yes? Yes. Okay. I'm, I mean, r really, in, in my opinion, it's either you, you either want me to move the thing over or we fill the thing in and see what happens. So, and it, I don't think that you're going to, you, you, you have the you think that the ditch was there which it wasn't but whatever great it's fine so you want me to extend it over and that's really what it's well, going to be is that correct respectfully which is, i'm not yeah. respectfully mr morrison has proposed the, the channel the restoration yeah. of the channel sir I, well, okay we're not we're not experts all right okay and I, so and, and again we're not um we're, we're trying to just resolve the situation once and for all so and because i know I, I'm sure, sir, you are annoyed to be here. Yeah, and I know well, Mrs. Would, Brookes isn't real happy about being here either. I, and, and I'm not trying to cause any, you know, I, my goal in life is to not cause anybody any, you know, heartache. Just looking to get it fixed. That's, yeah. that's, and that's our goal too. So, um, so why don't we do this? Why don't we continue to the next, um, the next meeting, and we'll, um, we'll talk about it some more. Now, do you have a preference? Does the commission have a preference of? You know, it's essentially two options, I think, based upon kind of what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. It's to redirect the water. And well, that's her recommendation, we, apparently. That's her recommendation. Uh -huh. If you think there's an alternative that, be, will, yeah. that will um, remediate the problem, uh, then we'll consider it. One thing I just... But you know, there is stream. I mean, water sheds, and I, I've never walked uh, behind your house, but... There's a, there's a lot of activity up there, and that there's a stream that comes down there, and that's what feeds that channel that eventually empties into the wetland. So, I think you know you said your suggestion was just fill in the channel and and, and let it sheet out. I don't know how that how you're going to make that work. You know, the other the other thing that occurred to me was maybe the installation of some check dams too, maybe uh, a, a hybrid or a combination of some sort of activity. Well, one thing I was kind of mentioned to Joe out the hall is, I don't know if this is possible based upon the grades, but just a sandbag that did the, the channel mm -hmm. to force the water over to the other section as a kind of a test to see what happens, okay. to see if that corrects the situation. You know, you know what you could also do is you can put a detention basin in there, but that's, um, I won't even talk about the cost for, uh, of that. Right. 
So yeah, why, I don't again, I don't want to, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, pleased, I'm pleased that you're thinking about this and that you're considering alternatives. And so if you can just commit those to paper and uh, if you can get them to us so that we can have a discussion about this at the next meeting, we'd be happy to consider it. Okay. okay. Next meeting's what? Did October. you want them to come or did you want just to have them submit something? Um, well, I guess the question is, you, I mean, the next meeting is in uh, two weeks. Yeah, October 10th. Mm -hmm. The only reason okay. I'm thinking that that might work is because my yard does almost the same thing as yours. Is what one more? It, like the, that decline. The yeah, grade, I understand, but you, I don't know. And that sheet. Oh, the sheet flow. Yeah. That sheet flow with the grass. I mean, and if you're right. saying it wasn't there it, before. It was, I mean, it, but whatever. I, I'm, I'm not going to, I, that's not my, I'm not trying to be argumentative. But there, there was, all that was there was a bunch of blackberry bushes. That was it. Uh -huh. It was, you know, it was it uh, eight foot tall and, you know, as thick as you could possibly be. But that was what was there. I didn't, I did not rip out a channel. But, and so, and, and it was brought from, uh, I never heard the terminology sheet flow. That was, uh, from you know, from Scott had mentioned that when he went out there, that that must have been what the water did, and uh, you know, I, I I don't know if that changed the direction. Obviously, water water seeks level. It's going to go its easiest path because that's just what that's natural. Well, that's right. that's, that's what happens. That's right. And what he's saying to to the point that he was saying is if we dump it off here, you dump it off there. That whole bottom area is at relatively the same grade height, and so it it's not. I, I don't see how redirecting it really is going to make a difference. I don't mind. I can redirect it. I can fill it in. Can do whatever you want. I, I just want it. Well, I want good. it over. So, but you know, I, I, I understand. Mean, and I don't think any, I don't think he has the right answer, or me, or you, or anybody. I don't think. But which, that's what we're, we're trying to achieve yeah, the right answer. But if here. you're saying that it wasn't, if there was no ditch there before, there was, if there no, was no, if there was not, if it wasn't there before, and she's saying it didn't happen before. Why don't we try and put it back to the way it was before? Well, because maybe it was sheeting before. It wasn't right. Maybe that's what you're saying. It was happening before. Yeah. The only reason we said, let's do it the way you suggested. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. essentially what we came down to is it was disturbed and there was kind of like a flow path. And it's true with Margaret reviewing the wetland boundary, she realized that there was, you know, we flagged wetlands up in a up top and down below, and she said, "You got to do something in you know, between." So yeah. it just proposed it, that it occurred to me right. that, that that flow path may have been established after the right he cleared oh, yeah. the property. After he cleared know. the property. So, can you? Um, would it be better if we continue this until the twenty fourth of October? Would you be available then? Well, I, my son's just getting married in a week, so oh. um, I don't know when we're leaving. I, I was hoping to be out of here by the tenth, but. Just go ahead. Are you going to have a quorum, though? We're thinking on the 24th. Um, and the only reason that we're going to All right, let's just do the 24th. Okay, is, is that, that agreeable? Yeah. Okay. That should give us time to yeah. discuss it. Perfect. All right. 10, 24. And shall we say... Like I said, I live... Uh, where I live, that's... And I live, I live on a pond, too. But mine slips down like that. Shall we say 7.30? 7.30. We have a 7.30. Sure. Okay. I, not, I don't know what sounds thinking on that agenda yet. Yeah. Right. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Someone want to make a motion to do that? Uh, make a motion. Sure. Right. sure. Well, it is a discussion. Yeah, it's a discussion, so that's fine. Okay, that's right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you going to do that for me? No. Oh, shoot. It's easy. Uh, just try and get some money for it. All right. All right. How far away are you trying to tell me that I have to get out of the 25 feet? 25 feet away from the top part, the bank of any water. Thank you for coming. You. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Good luck at the okay. wedding. Oh, okay. can't have anything within 25 feet of that Well, the, the, the stream, I mean, the stream is not wetlands, or unless it's now it's created wetlands or something. I, I, no, that it, it's a perennial stream. We have jurisdiction, so you need to move the chicken. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll see you on uh, October 24th. 24th. Yeah. Thanks for coming, and we appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. You get money for it. Just remember. <laughs> it's worth the right. You can pay Scott with. <laughs> Good night. Thanks, Thanks for Scott. coming. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Mercy. Um, All right. So. <laughs> Um, let me go quickly through the rest of the agenda so we can get out of here. Um, did a letter go out 
uh, on 34 Mill Street. Sheila? To the Board of Health. To the Board of Health or to Caleb. Somebody to Caleb. The puzzled look on your face tells me I I'm did. I'm trying to think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did do that. Okay, can you, if you did it, can you send us copies, please? Sure. Great. Um, oh, yeah. Um, we have to check out Magna Vista. Um, that came in, um, what, a few days ago, I think? Probably a dock. We, you yeah. Know, we've been out there many times, but for different properties. So oh, apparently okay. someone built a dock there. There was a, oh, oh. a beaver dam in that area too. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I know yeah. 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 Um, uh, Sheila and I, or me, mostly me actually, exchanged emails with the engineer for 515 Rochdale Street. They were they had a misunderstanding concerning whether or not they had to file an NOI. I think they understand now that they do. So um, they're going to file one, hopefully. Oh, soon. If they don't know. Oh, this is Rochdale Street, you say? Yeah, 515 okay. Rochdale Street. Yep, That's yep, where yep. they're putting in the septic system. Um, 10 May Lane, um, lovely property, uh, met the, uh, the owner, a nice man, mm -hmm. lives there with his daughter. Uh, he, I was advised that they had replaced a dock, they didn't install a new one. I didn't see any evidence of tree cutting, I, don't see, I didn't see any violation or any basis for a complaint. Yeah, they, what did you say, the they replaced they, the deck, wasn't it a deck, not a dock? No. It, was, it, it is a, it's a decky dock. Yeah, it's, it's a, a it's a small it's a small literally a small deck. You can put a boat there, but it's small. It's probably oh I don't know six by six at the okay. most. Not even. I supervised while he walked up to the toilet. Okay. She did, and she did a great job. Okay. Um, Thank you. And were so, they like tie up a rowboat or something? Yeah, it's just nice a boat. Here. It's beautiful. Yeah, just home. a boat, but there was no evidence of any tree cutting. Okay. Uh, the property is immaculate. Yeah. My grass should look so good. Um, I know. And then. Um, <clears throat> Uh, if no one minds, I would prefer to continue a uh, discussion on the minutes of 912. Did okay. you do those? I didn't yeah, say I did. Did. Okay, we? well, I we didn't read them, so. I didn't either. And I think, yeah. uh, I, I think, um, I don't have them. What do I have? Yes? She, she word? actually corrected them. Yes, you sent me. Do, yes, oh, I yes, I do. Oh, yes, yeah. I do. Allison yeah, right. sent me corrections. I, I do, but I didn't say In that case, I was like, I do that no, we don't have a nationally on the board, not yet. No, I have them. Um, I shall we go over them then, if uh, someone has already undertaken the effort? Oh, she did. Am I right here? I do have them. Do you want oh, I, them? I'm not sure I have them. I have two. I have two copies. I do, I do. Shelly, do you have an extra copy? Um, I just have my copy. If you want to look at it, and if there's any you corrections, can you can make oh, them. All right. Okay. Is this with comment. Allison's correction? You don't like yes. that font? I'm sorry, what? You don't like her font? I believe so. Oh, What's no. the date on there? No, I like um, my font. Yeah, yeah. September 12th. I know. This is my <laughs> Up on the corner, though, I Time said I emailed Roman. it. Time to roll it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, my dad. No, I don't know what this is. Yes, Thank you. Oh, is it? I hope I got the corrections in there. I don't know which ones. Did you download the last ones? I did. The last ones? Yeah. The corrected ones? Yes, I'm pretty sure this is the correct one. I'm not you sure what I gave my phone. All right, so let's zip through this, all right? I think this um, is the correct one. Page one. Uh, 710, Paula Carey for Scribner. Uh, Mr. Du Bois, this is like the next paragraph. Mr. Du Bois explained that soil test has been completed. Test, test. A soil test has been completed. Is that corrected on yours? Is yours corrected? No, it's not on mine. No, nope. okay, so, not the corrected one then. So, a soil test has you, been completed. No, no, nope. nope. and I didn't run off Singular, the Singular, not plural. Shame on me. Let me trace. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Toil test have been completed. So, is that the corrected one? No, but it says this she, is so she wrong. did just change around a lot of my sentences, how I word things. Uh huh. So we could just wait till we have it. Just go to my house. You want to wait? Let's wait. Well, we're starting it. It won't take much longer. Okay, all right. I don't have one. the right one, though. Yeah. 
make sure that right. I don't know yeah, if you're looking at good. the right ones. Right. I feel right. 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 she did fine. take the time to correct them. And right, because I'm not sure. All right. In that case, um, that case. Is, is there a motion to close? I move to close the meeting. I'll second that. Is there any discussion? Do we have anything else? No. Do we have anything else to sign? No. No. We said What's no. this oh, we've got request? the decision for the Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have a negative sorry. determination. So. We did. Yeah, we did. 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 We signed it, did you? Yes, we did. I think you have. We did. We passed the Really? We signed one thing to We signed one thing. All right. That was the extension. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? I don't think we signed the extension. You signed the extension. Oh. We signed. Okay, that's it right here. Oh. I don't think you signed. No, we, we didn't sign the extension. We, we signed it before um, she came up and talked to us. That's this it is right the extension there. that you signed. Then we didn't sign a Damien. For the town? We didn't sign a Damien. All right. I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. no, we we didn't sign a Damien. I don't think so. Okay. What did we sign? No, the extension yet. for the, the extension of the okay, town. before she came. Okay, got it. Yeah. We did sign it before she came up, right? <laughs> she, yeah, we signed, signed something to adjourn, right? No, we're not adjourned. We're still in business. <laughs> um, we did, we did, we did sign something before she appeared. That is correct. <laughs> All right. I can't remember what. It's right there. Oh, here's just let me just sign that. I don't have it here. You have that one. That one. Yes, this is the, the only thing that I remember you signing. Yeah. That's what we signed. That's what we yeah. You signed it after she left. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're good. Never mind. Okay. All right. Um, so that's 11. Go. So, okay. These are on it. Um, should we vote on this or we just close the hearing? I don't think we voted the issue. We did vote on it. Oh, you yeah, did. I'm sorry. Yep. You did. We did. I right, seconded it. Close it and we vote. Yeah. We voted while I was still sitting here. Yeah, that's right. We all Thank have a black pen. Thank you. Okay. If um, there's nothing else, is there a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.